Okay, today um, I want to take a look at even and odd functions, how you can um, algebraically work a function out and determine whether it is either, either an even function or an odd function or neither. Um, some other good important facts to remember, odd functions are symmetric to the origin. So if you are looking at the graph of a function, then you can test to see if it looks like it's symmetrical around the origin, and that's a quick, easy way to determine if it's an odd function. All right, even functions are symmetric to the y-axis. So there again, if you've got a, a picture of the graph, then you can look at it, see if it is symmetric to the y-axis, in which case it would be an even function. All right, now to be able to uh, work these out algebraically, uh, textbooks generally give two formulas for uh, determining if a function is even or odd. All right, the formula for determining even is if um, f of negative x is equal to f of x, which would be the original function, and for an odd function, if f of negative x is equal to the negative of the function, so negative f of x. All right, now the way I particularly do this, all right, I set it up a certain way. I always test for even first, then I test for odd. All right, and doing that, then technically I only have to remember those two parts of those formulas um, for mem to memorize which one is which and what I'm doing here. Okay, so um, if you use my methods, then these are the only parts to memorize of these formulas. All right, so um, that kind of shortens the formula a little bit, all right, and then um, helps make the process a little bit easier, I think. All right, we're going to go through three examples of how you would go about doing this. All right, so in my first example here, I have a um, polynomial function, all right. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm always going to test for even first, okay. I'm always going to test for even first. So I'm going to test even. I want to see, is this function an even function? All right, so the part that I circled on the previous page that I'm going to remember is for when I'm testing for even, I'm going to do f of negative x. So I'm going to take negative x and I'm going to plug it into the function. So I'm going to show that and indicate it. I'm going to plug in f of negative x. It means I'm going to take a negative x and I'm going to put it into that function everywhere where I see an x. So negative x squared minus negative x to the fourth, and then plus one. All right, now I'm going to go through, and I'm algebraically going to simplify this. A negative x squared, well, any negative number uh, to an even power is going to turn that into a positive, so then that'd be a positive x squared. Okay, the minus sign, I'm just going to go ahead and leave. I'm going to take this negative x here and raise it to the fourth power again. I have an even exponent, so then it'll be a positive value when I get it out. So I'll have an x to the fourth, and then I'm going to have a plus one. All right, now, once I have simplified that algebraically, I'm going to take this answer, and I'm going to ask myself, does it match? Okay, so does it match? All right, if it matches, then, yes, you know that the function is even. All right, and looking at this, x squared, x squared, minus, minus, x to the fourth, and then a plus one. So, yes, it does match. All right, so for that reason, then, this function is even. So I can say, therefore, f of x is even. And then that's as far as I have to go. I don't have to go any farther. Okay, because if a function's even, it's even. If it's odd, it's odd, or neither. Okay, so you don't have to test any more than that. All right, now, second example here. I always start with testing for even first. So I'm going to test to see if it's even. All right, the only part then I have to memorize for even is f of negative x. So I'm going to take a negative x and plug it into the function. So I'm going to go f of negative x. All right, plug it in everywhere where I see an x. So I'm going to plug a negative x in for that x right there. And then 1 minus, I'm going to plug it in for that one right there, a negative x, and then square. All right, now I need to go through and simplify. All right, nothing out here to simplify. All right, so I'm just going to leave that negative x. All right, inside there I'm going to leave the 1 and the minus. All right, negative x squared. Again, even exponent is going to make it a positive x squared. Okay, so then I'm going to take this answer right here, my simplified answer, and I'm going to check to see if it matches. All right, does it match? All right, and in this case, 
we can clearly see that it does not because this has a negative in front and this one does not. All right, so the answer is no, it did not match. So I know the function is not even. All right, so now I'm gonna test for odd. Okay, and from that first page, if you remember what I told you you had to memorize in that formula, you just need to remember negative f of x because then that's the next calculation I need to do. Negative f of x, all right, which means I'm gonna take a negative and multiply it by my function. All right, so I'm gonna do it really simply here. I'm gonna take a negative one and then I'm gonna multiply it by that original function. So x square root of one minus x squared. All right, well one times any value there, I mean, I can just do negative one times x there to simplify, so I'll have a negative x square root of one minus x squared. All right, now this time, you're going to ask yourself, does it match the previous answer? All right, so does this match the previous answer that you simplified there? Okay, well, yes, it does. All right, here, let's actually do that. Does it match? All right, you just got to make sure that when you do the second one, you're testing to your answer. You're asking yourself, does it match to the previous simplification that you've got? And the answer is yes, it does. So then that means this is an odd function because I just qualified there. All right, so therefore, f of x is odd. All right. Okay. And then we'll do one more example here of this one right here. Okay, again, same procedure over and over and over. I'm always going to test even first, then I'm going to test for odd. Okay, so if I'm going to test even, the only part of that formula I have to remember is f of negative x, so that's what I'm going to start with, f of negative x. I'm going to plug a negative x in everywhere where there is an x value in there. So negative x squared minus, and then I'm plugging in a negative x, negative x, and then plus one. I'm going to algebraically go through and simplify. Again, a negative x squared, I'm squaring something, it's going to make it positive. So I'll have an x squared there. Now, subtracting a negative x, that's going to turn that into a positive x, so plus x, and then plus one. Okay, and then when you get done there, you're going to ask yourself, does it match the original function that you started with? All right, does it match? And clearly on this one, we can see it does not because of that. That plus sign right there was a minus sign in the original one. So no, it does not. So I know it's not even, so now I've got a test to determine whether it is odd. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my test up for my odd. And remembering the second part of the formula there, negative f of x, means I'm gonna take a negative and multiply it by my function. Okay, so this is my function in this one, so I'm gonna do a negative one, and I'm gonna multiply it by that original function, x squared minus x plus one. Okay, go through algebraically, simple, simplify that. So basically I'm gonna go through, change all those signs. So I'm gonna have a negative x squared, negative times negative makes that a positive, negative times positive makes that a negative. All right, then on this one, when you ask yourself, does it match, you are wanting to know if it matches the previous answer. All right, does it match? And on this one, again, you can clearly see it does not. We've got a negative here in front and no negative there, negative here and a positive there. So again, I got another no. So that means that this function is not an odd function either. It is not even, it is not odd. So therefore, I can conclude that f of x is neither neither even nor odd. All right, so three quick examples showing you one of each scenario, a function that would be even, a function that would be odd, and then a function that would be neither. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like on it. Thanks.